Hamaguchi has done some stunts that I've never seen replicated on Japanese TV. And for good reason. They probably get you killed. Or at least very sick. And Adino is one of the first successful examples of making a living off of playing video games. Together, they've survived living on deserted islands several times. And in addition to Variety TV, they also work with Nintendo, playing video games on their official YouTube channel. They live a pretty awesome life. But how did they get there? Hi, I'm Georgia Japan, and I like to bring you information that's not readily available in English. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the history of Yoiko. Hamaguchi and Arino were born in Osaka in 1972. They met in their junior high school, where their shared passion for manga, anime, and video games quickly made them the best of friends. Hamaguchi was known as the class clown, and he was a popular one. Arino was a bit more serious in his studies. When the time came for them to go to high school, Arino decided to go to a lower ranking high school so that he could be in the same school as Hamaguchi. Unfortunately, they weren't in the same class. They'd still see each other during breaks, and they'd talk and pass notes to each other to read during class. They were such good friends that they would even plan out when they would go to the bathroom so that they would have some small time to chit-chat in the hallways. Anyway, they're, they're real bros. During high school, Arino took his studies a bit more seriously, and Hamaguchi began doing crazier and wilder things in class. So much so that just before graduation, he was expelled. It was around this time his classmates were telling him, you should just become a comedian. And it was something he began to think, yeah, maybe I could be a comedian. Arino did not plan to go to university, but he had a job lined up for him. Uh, other than anime and manga and video games, Arino does have a passion for cooking. He was lucky enough to have a job at a hotel in Tokyo where he would receive further training to become a chef. But Hamaguchi was starting to have these big dreams, and he knew he needed a partner in comedy, and he needed his best bud. Talking to Arino about his big dream of becoming a comedian, it's like, but dude, I have this job in Tokyo lined up already. But Hamaguchi was like, if you become a big comedian, you could get like a really beautiful wife. This is what would convince Arino to give up cooking and try to become a comedian. Again, this was at the end of the 80s, early 90s. This was really like a gold rush time for new comedians. Again, they had the big stars. It was the bubble economy in Japan. A lot of money, a lot of big dreams being thought up during that time. And Hamaguchi believed that with Arino, they would be able to make it in showbiz. But Hamaguchi did have some strategy as how to get into showbiz. This was a time when everybody was heading to Yoshimoto's NSC. Competition was fierce. And Hamaguchi thought, if we go to Yoshimoto, we're gonna have way too many people to compete with. And they decided to go to this lesser known talent agency, which proved to be a very clever strategy. Although this talent agency didn't have the connections Yoshimoto had, they were able to get more attention. Yoiko didn't experience the sudden burst of popularity other comedians who started in 1991 did, but they were building their fame slowly and surely. And after about five years of hard work, they were finally starting to land regular appearances. The three most notable, I would say, would be on these shows. But I'd say the turning point in their career would come in 1998 on this variety show, which they would co-host with Kokoriko. On this show, Hamaguchi would do some things that had never been seen before on Variety. The most notable of being, I think, would be live off of 10,000 yen for one month, which would then escalate further into live off of zero yen for one month, which would have him do some really crazy things uh, to survive. Arino, on the other hand, was very confident that he could make a show about video games. Now, this is back in 2003. There are no examples of like pro gamers in Japan other than maybe Daigo Umehara who got very famous for his comeback win at the uh, EVO in Street Fighter. But there's no other examples of somebody making a lot of money off of a video game. He was confident that a variety show about video games would work. And in 2003, he got the opportunity to host Game Center CX. Now you can find tons of shows about video games, but again, this is 2003. This kind of show is unprecedented in Japan. His first episode would be him playing through the ridiculously cryptic and difficult video game Takeshi's Challenge, and it was a hit, particularly in DVD sales. Again, it, the show did get good ratings, but he was building a cult following with these DVD sales. Their fame continued to grow. 
and their zero insay cuts of stuff would evolve into a big New Year's special where they would be placed on a deserted island and be forced to survive for a few days. They'd have to build their own living quarters and live off the land, all while challenging two other celebrities and their performance would be judged by a panel of survivalists and a live audience. It's a really cool New Year's special. Uh, if you can find it, I definitely recommend watching it. It's, it's a pretty long special, but it's just nice to have on. Anyway, I guess what I want to say about their story is that the first step to achieve anything great is just belief. Yeah, Hamaguchi didn't really have any job skills. All he had was the strong belief that us two, we're funny and we can do it. And that's the first step. And I think the way that they brought joy to people doing the things that had never been done before on TV is truly remarkable. It's for those reasons I think Yoiko are badasses. Thanks so much for watching and bonus information! Hamaguchi made good on his promise of finding a beautiful wife for Arino, and in 2005 he married this lady. I believe she's a reporter? She was on Mecha Ike. Anyway, they have two kids together and they're real happy. Hamaguchi would marry former Gravia idol slash talent after four years of dating in 2018. They also seem real happy. And yeah, that's about all the information I got. And thanks so much for watching and have a glorious day.